Welcome to the video tutorials of the book Methods, Evaluation and Research in Education by Muhammad Akhtaruzzaman and today we are going to learn how to facilitate qualitative research using ethnograph and it contains two parts. Part 1 is Basics of Qualitative Data Analysis in Ethnograph. Part 2 is Advanced Features of Qualitative Data Analysis in Ethnograph. Let's see. A researcher is working on Life Satisfaction Survey in the United States and he has taken interview of 18 individuals on different aspects of life such as daily life, education, health, marriage, children, etc. In drawing conclusions, he wants to recall the opinions of each of them on a particular question. For example, mm, what about your education? Using ethnograph, this can be accomplished quite easily and efficiently. Let's see how it can be done. In this example, life satisfaction, 18 individuals are interviewed. So, the dataset contains 18 data files that vary from about 200 to 300 lines. Each data file is already coded and each data file has one or more memos attached to it. However, the ethnograph does not yet recognize life satisfaction as a project. To do so, let's start ethnograph. Open project manager. Click find all project. Browse for life satisfaction and then click OK. Double click on life satisfaction and see the 18 files at the right. You can copy or back up the project to avoid accidentally mess up. Close the project manager window. Click the code icon and double click on the file name Betty. Look at the screen. The data for Betty is displayed on the left. Code words and segment boundaries are displayed on the right. Click the code word education. The text associated with education is highlighted. Right click on education. You see a pop up menu displaying several options. Click pop up segment. The segment defined as education now appears in a separate pop up box. You can close all the pop up or some of them by going to pop up seg icon, then close segments, then clicking all or marked or not marked. Click code counts list icon and select code counts. You see a list of code words used to define segments of text in Betty and also the number of times each code word has been used in this file. In the code count list, Double click on education. The two segments defined as education now appear as pop up segments. Right click in the Betty Education 133 to 141 pop up segment and select copy to click both. You can now paste the segment into Microsoft Word or any other word processor. The code count list is currently displaying for Betty. In the upper left corner, click Next. You see the data file, Erika. Click Customize Layout in the upper right corner and see the Code Preferences dialog. Click Code Counts. Click OK. The list is permanent now. Every time you open a file, you see the Code Count list. Close the Segments window. Click the Search icon. You see the single code search screen. Double click on challenge and it appears in the list of selected code words. Click search icon and see the search results window at the screen. You see the list of segments found on the left side and the first segment on the right side. Challenge is found 39 times. It is found 4 times in Betty, 2 times in Erika and so on. Double click on the white line in the list of segments to see another segment. Click the navigation arrows to browse one at a time. You may click view multi icon 
to see more than one segment at a time. Click frequency table icon and double click on a cell in the frequency table to see all segments for that cell. Explore the various buttons in the frequency output. Click memo output icon. You now see all the memos written to segments defined as challenge in various files. Select one or more memos and click the icon view selected. See the memo output screen. Now we will see the memo list by clicking on its icon. It displays all memos whereas the memo output shows only the text memos attached to segments found during a search. Close the memo list and close the search options window to return to the main window. Now we will write a text memo. Click the code icon in the main window and open the data file Betty. Now highlight lines 10 to 15. Right click on the highlighted text and click memo. You see a memo form. Here the memo type is comments and the file is Betty. Date and time are the current date and time. From and to are the line numbers 10 to 15. In the box by, write to initial, for example, AK. Now write the topic, second memo, and in the body, write, this is an example of text memo. Now see the memo flags by a green M next to a line number. Scroll down the file and notice the lines marked with M. M means one or more memos are attached to these lines. See the line 0061M. Double click on it. You see a list of memos about the text that start on line 0061. Again double click on the memo list and see the output at the screen. You can also write memos for the file and even for the project also. Go back to the main window and click the memo icon. Fill up the necessary edit box and save it. In fact, memos are nothing but the ways and means for the researchers to recall certain things that have been taken place during the collection of data. You can now print all the data files with codes of this project Life Satisfaction Survey in the United States of America. For better understanding, by clicking the code icon in the main window, then double click on any file. And finally, go to print all data files and then with codes. Okay, my dear friends, believe it or not, Anthograph will be much easier to you. Just be playful rather than serious. Create your own project. Copy and paste two of your own data files into the project. Practice coding your data. Write some memos and do some searches. Thank you for staying with us. It's Yasdani saying you goodbye.